Welcome. I'm going to show you how to edit the transparent sticker mockup in Photoshop. So first you're going to want to have this layers panel open. If you don't see the layers panel, go to window and then click on layers to bring it up. We're just going to click the arrow next to sticker to expand that layer group. And then to add your design, you just want to double click the thumbnail icon in the design dash sticker layer. And that's going to open up our smart object where you can just copy and paste your design. And then go to File, Open, and find your design. And then click Select All, then Edit, Copy, and click back on the Smart Object tab, and go to Edit, Paste. Um, you may or may not need to resize the design. If you do need to resize it, just go to Edit and then click on Free Transform. And you can drag the corners to size it up or down. In older versions of Photoshop, you used to have to hold down the Shift key to keep it proportional. So if you see it getting distorted, just go to Edit and then click Undo and do the opposite of whatever you were doing, whether that's holding down the Shift key or not holding it down. And when you think you've got it sized about right, you can just go to File, Save, we'll click Apply first, and then you can click the X to close the Smart Object, and you can close your original graphics, and you'll see the design is on the sticker just like that. Um, there's some other things you can edit in here too if you want to. So I've got the color of the sticker set to the overlay blend mode, and then the fill is set to 15%, so it looks fairly transparent. If you want to make it a little more or less transparent, you can click the arrow, the down arrow next to fill, and then drag the slider to the right to make it more opaque, the left to make it more transparent. And then if you can edit the shadows underneath it too. Just click the arrow to expand the shadows layer group, then click on the shadow layer and click the down arrow next to Opacity and drag the slider to the right to make the shadow darker or the left to make it more subtle. And depending on which um, mock of you purchased, you might have different backgrounds. So just click the arrow next to Backgrounds to expand that layer group and then click Eye Icons on and off to toggle through whatever different backgrounds you have. And then when you're done, if you're going to use this as a thumbnail online on a website like Etsy, you'll probably want to save a copy as a JPEG. So do that, just go to File, Save a Copy, and then navigate to whatever folder you want to save it in. And for this drop down menu next to Save as Type, change Photoshop to JPEG, and click Save. And if you want the layered PSD file with your original graphics, just come back here and go to File, Save As. And this time, leave it as Photoshop PSD. And you can change the, the name here for each of your designs. And then click Save. And that's how easy it is to add your design to the transparent sticker mockup in Photoshop. Um, depending on which mock-up you purchase, you, know, you might have different shapes for the sticker, but it's uh, pretty easy. Please message me at melissabmockups.com if you have any questions. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you get updates to future videos. And as always, this mock-up and other mock-ups are available at melissabmockups.com. Thank you, and have a great night.